Hey, welcome to Parents Helping Parents. This video will give you some Zoom tips for either events that you attend with Parents Helping Parents. So some tips to prepare for the meeting or webinar would be to always check that the battery from your device is charged. If not fully, that it has a good amount. And you may use a computer, a cell phone, or a tablet when using Zoom. Also check that you're connected to the internet and you can test that by watching a YouTube video. If it works, you're probably connected to the internet. Also, it helps to download the Zoom app to your device. It's free and it just makes it easier to enter the event. You can find it on the App Store or on Google Play, but you don't have to. There are two types of events on Zoom. One is meetings and another is webinars. And there are some differences between those two options. On meetings, you can choose to have your audio and video turned on or off. In webinars, the audio and video will be turned off automatically during the entire event. And the host is the one who controls that option. In meetings, you can share questions and comments in the chat. And in webinars, you will also have a question and answer box. So you can share your questions in the chat or in the Q&A. We suggest using Q&A during webinars because the chat can get very busy and your question may be lost if it's an event that is, um, has a lot of participants in it. So meetings are usually hosted for smaller groups and webinars for larger groups. Um, and the last tip is that there, you will see more options in the menu bar for meetings that you can control. You are um, welcome to participate usually more during meetings. And during the webinars, um, because they are usually used to host larger events, you'll see less options on your menu bar. And remember, uh, you can always chat um, or make comments to everyone in the meeting or to panelists only in private or to one of the other participants as well in private. So once you've registered for an event, you'll receive an email confirmation that looks somewhat like this. Usually it tells you um, who you can contact for questions. Uh, you can add the event to your calendar of preference for reminders, usually a day before and a couple of hours before the event. You may cancel the event. And the most important is the click here to join um, option, which is where you will click the day of the event to join the meeting. So once you reach the date of your event and you're ready to join the meeting, you will click on that link to join the event. Then you will get a, a pop-up window that looks like this. Well, it will give you the option to open zoom.us. This is where you want to enter uh, through the app that you may already have downloaded to your device. Or if you decided that you don't want to download it, uh, the Zoom app, you can join from your browser, which is the option here at the bottom. And that will also take you to the Zoom event window. After that, you'll get uh, our internet waiting circle. So please be patient. It really depends on your connection speed. Um, and sometimes it takes some time. Uh, once you're on the main Zoom window, this is what your event uh, screen will look like. Always click on join with computer audio so you can be heard during the event. Make sure you, you remember to click there or else nobody will be able to hear you. Uh, on your cell phone, it'll look like this. First, you'll be asked to join with video. So click on the blue button, join with video. And then remember to click on call using internet audio. Same thing, so everybody can hear you during the meeting. And then play around with your toolbar for a couple minutes um, if you're early to sign into the event or while introductions, it's always a good uh, time to see what's available on your toolbar. Unmute, mute, start the video. Um, you can check the participants, the chat. Um, do a little bit of playing around to make yourself familiar with uh, the menus and how your screen will be looking like. Uh, some people like to see the whole screen for the meetings or, you know, keep some other windows on your screen open. It's always good to set yourself up ahead of time.
And this is a sample of what those menus look like for meetings and webinars and how they are different. So here's where we were talking about the meetings having a lot more options and webinars usually being a little more restricted with the menu options. Um, another tip is always chat at your own pace. Chat boxes can be very busy um, and you can get lost in the comments, but um, if you uh, would like that there's a lot of great resources that are always shared on the chat and comments so you can pop out the chat box as well to always see it side by side uh, from your zoom screen um, and remember you can chat with everyone panelists only or private so if you want everybody to see your resources shared or your comments make sure you click on chat with everyone and also another quick tip is you can tap and hold the space bar on your keyboard to temporarily unmute yourself. Once you release, you will be muted again. That's just a quick tip for on Zoom. And um, enjoy your meeting. That's what's most important. Relax and enjoy the event. Remember that if you have any difficulties during the event with Parents Helping Parents, we always have a host that's helping in the background and we can help you uh, however we can so your event can go smoothly. We will do our best for you to have a good experience. And we are always here for you anytime and anywhere. This video will be part of our e-learning library. Reach us at php.com by email info at php.com and always on our phone numbers, 408-727-5775. Until next time, thanks for watching.